Hello, my name is Neha Corday. I'm an Associate Clinical Investigator at the National Cancer Institute of NIH. I'm at the ASH 2013 meeting and I'm going to be presenting results to you for our Phase 2 clinical and correlative study of carfilzomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone followed by lenalidomide extension dosing, which induces high rates of MRD negativity in newly diagnosed multiple myeloma patients. Because proteasome inhibitors have been associated with peripheral neuropathy in the past, our study is actually looking at carfilzomib and grade three or higher neuropathy rates. So in this phase two clinical and correlative study, we enrolled up to 45 newly diagnosed multiple myeloma patients uh, with treating them with carfilzomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone. We give our patients eight cycles of combination therapy. We give carfilzomib in the standard regimen of days 1, 2, 8, 9, 15, and 16. They receive lenalidomide days 1 through 21 and dexamethasone IV or oral twice weekly. The regimen was generally well tolerated. The most common toxicities that we observed were non-hematologic grade 3, grade 4 electrolyte disturbances and grade 3 and grade 4 lymphopenia. Our best responses after a median of 12 cycles received for our patients was an overall response rate of 98%, a VGPR rate or higher of 88%, and a near CR or stringent CR rate of 67%. Patients that achieve a stable disease or, or better go on to receiving two years of Revlimid extension dosing. In conclusion, the therapy was well tolerated. We didn't observe any grade 3 or 4 peripheral neuropathy. Patients achieved deep responses, and when we performed minimal residual disease testing by multiparametric flow cytometry, we found that 27 of the evaluable patients were MRD negative. The median follow-up was 12 months. We'll have more data as time progresses and we're also working on a number of correlatives.